Well, this video has really shifted, bro. Because we was not acting like this like 20 minutes ago. No, not at all. <laughs> Send help. Y'all, we don't drink like that, so. <laughs> don't think this is fake. This is real tins. This is reality TV. Now, she's tweaking because, bro, she really bought Patron for us to drink. With wine? Can you even mix that, bro? You Z, you wanted to come and kill me in my own house? It. I didn't think about it. You didn't crazy? You want to You, you, wanna <laughs> you didn't crazy? Fam, it's your girl Young Africana back at it again with another video. And today we have our lovely recurring guest, Miss Gimo, aka Z or whatever. Um, so today's topic, right? We're gonna speak on black women and the soft life era, creating life. boundaries. Yes, yeah, soft life. We're gonna be real soft, real, real, real nice. <laughs> so we're just gonna be touching on the topic of like this new not a new phenomenon, but I feel like this has been kind of like trending more often, like especially this year, the soft life. Like, so Z, what's your definition of soft life? When you first heard it, like what's like your definition of soft life? Soft life, peace. You know, <laughs> like, you know, when they say soft, you just think of like soft, like I touch something and it's soft, like not hard. You know what I mean? Right. What's the opposite of hard? Right, soft. soft. You know Thanks. what I mean? It just hard life, soft life, you know, opposite. So I feel like my definition of soft life is to bring you peace, ease, changing a lot of stuff. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Taking care of that negative energy, revamping yourself. That part. And just like striving to be a better person while establishing boundaries mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, you know. Hey, Z. What? Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> Even though like soft life is not like a real term though, but that's pretty much like what like soft life is. Um, I guess my definition of soft life, like she said, like just a life of ease. You don't have to worry. You don't have to sit down there and stress. No stress. No. Problems. I stop feeling like they hit on me, but I'm feeling like I'm good. So she was fiending to say this for the longest, y'all. She's been fiending. Anyways, but yeah, like like we said, like you know, soft life. Everything is nice and easy. It's calm. It just comes to you. You don't have to force anything. You don't have to overwork yourself. It's just like literally just bringing peace and joy to your life. So yeah, so um, I've been peeping like especially on Twitter and social media in general. Like a lot of the melanin mommies, the black girlies is getting onto the whole soft life era. And I'm here for it. I'm dead here for it because I feel like we all like, I feel like the, the, the trope of the independent black women, the strong independent black women is starting to die out. And I feel like we're all starting to get a little bit more vulnerable. I don't mm -hmm. know if you agree with that or not. In what way? Um, like, do you feel like, I guess like us as a collective, especially like us in like the black community, are we getting like more vulnerable? Like us as black women, mm -hmm. do you feel like we're getting more vulnerable? And like the aspect where we're like, we're tired of being strong. Like we yeah. just want to be taken yeah. care of. I feel like I've seen that, you know, going around more. And I feel like I kind of, have indulged in that you know like how so so what what are some things that you have indulged in that is more softer than it was back then hmm. things that i've indulged in i guess accepting help or like accepting mm. things from people i'm more open to it because it's like i don't know i'm just more accepting to like receiving love and receiving help and i'm more um accepting to like just you know allowing allowing what is be what is you know what i mean mm -hmm. that didn't make sense no no like, no it do it do okay. but i was gonna say like so what are some things that you were doing prior that you had to unlearn, unlearn. in regards of i guess like just being like vulnerable especially like being like a black girl black girl yeah hmm. i don't know you go off let me think about that you start off okay um so i think like how you said like accepting help i feel like for example i was in like in a situation last week and i still have issues of like accepting help because i'm usually like the giver i'm like the giver friend y'all like i'm a huge giver you know it ain't tricking if you got it you feel me and when i got it like i like to splurge my friends but you know like you know, people go through our little moments we have our moments where it's like okay financially it's like oh shit like damn like okay i've been spending a little bit too much 
I got to ease back. And like there's certain things that you're used to doing that I wasn't like able to do at the moment because I didn't have like, you know, the like sufficient funds at that time. So like even to just like asking for help was so hard for me. I didn't even ask for help. Like my friends saw like my mood just kind of like switch completely. And then it's just like, no, I don't want you to help me though. Like I'm good. Like I'm fine. Like, like I'm getting paid next week. Like, don't worry about it. Like, but like my friends just like, no, bro, like it's okay. Like you are a giver. You need to learn how to receive. And I feel like this year I need to really learn how to receive because I've been the giver for so long and I'm so used to helping people out that when now it's like the other way around, it's like, nah, I'm good. Like I feel like I don't treat myself like a human, but I treat like everybody else a human. I remember I saw like this meme. I give people grace, but I don't give myself grace. They're going through a tough time right now. They just need to get their self together. They need help. But when it comes to you, it's like you're not going hard enough. You're always just being like really, really hard on yourself. And I feel like that's where I was kind of at. And it's like, bro, it's okay. Like, let somebody help you. And I think that's just something I personally yeah. need to work on with like my friendships as well as like my future relationship that I will get mm -hmm. into, you know? Because like nobody wants somebody that's always just on some like, oh, nah, I don't need your help. I don't need your help. I don't exactly. need your help. So, and, yeah. yeah, and also help doesn't always like have to be financial, you know what I mean? Right. Even just uh, listening air is enough. So like being there when I want to talk, like sometimes people genuinely don't even know, you know, you're going like, I could call you right now and mm -hmm. not know you're going through whatever right. the case might be. And just talking to somebody might uplift your spirit. So something like that, as simple as that. That's you very know? true. So yeah, intermission, we forgot about our drink. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> Yeah, we was going so crazy with this topic just now. We forgot about our our wine. Hold on. So we got a new little wine for the week. Also, too, if y'all got some good wine suggestions, please leave that down below. We like sweet and fruity drinks, y'all. No, nothing, yeah. nothing that tastes like liquor. We know. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Might spit it out. Right. Hey, exactly. No. Hey. <laughs> yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> we get it together, bro. Hey, yo. Okay. So, I'm um, introducing, this is not sponsored, <laughs> introducing Sweet Bitch, y'all. Bitch. Bitch. And you better bitch. be sweet, bitch. Yo. <laughs> Honestly, not because we never tasted this before, so hopefully this really tastes sweet, bitch. No. Like, we're not playing. <laughs> we're not playing. Yo, yo, yo you want Terry Reloaded? Yeah. Said, bitch. 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 <laughs> My Sherry Dodo. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on, okay, okay. How do you forget this, bro? I didn't, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh. How did I forget this? I was like, Let me not be rude. Let me serve you first. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm nervous. It better be sweet. I know. This is pretty, though. It's it a prettier cup. It does. And it's a really big um, glass. Because it's for like $18? Yes. And it's like I don't know if like you know where we live at is cheaper, but <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. But it's a big bottle. Hopefully, it's not no cheap liquor either. Big body bands oh. take up two lanes. I don't even know. I just made up that song, but I've heard that big body bands used to be dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Cheers, my love. Please don't spill it again, Vivian. Oh, fact, we're on white today. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. <laughs> No, yo, first of all, I got some red in my stuff. Yours is pure white, so... Uh, not pure you don't, white. First, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about it, because last week, right, I had spilled, and she was laughing, and I thought that she was laughing at me. Meanwhile, this bitch spilled, too. And she was trying to be so low and discreet about it, trying to make me the only embarrassed one. Cheers. And that was... Z. Okay, okay. Oh, it's nice. It's calm. You don't need the alcohol. Bartonero is still one though. Yeah, but it tastes similar though. It does, but I taste a little bit more alcohol. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean. What it's you like the, the aftertaste. I'll give it like 7.5. Mm -hmm. How much? What, what like a you? calm 6. 8. <laughs> calm? I mean, like, oh, calm 8. 6 is not crazy. <laughs> Shorty said, to be honest, you cool. <laughs> Rate <You're right>. 5. <laughs> oh, what? You cool. Stop being a stranger, though. Bro, um, please. I was still drink it, though, but yeah, a calm six. Because mm. we, we taste We need to actually drink this time, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, you trying to choke? I guess so. Let's see who wins. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
<laughs> well, they're thirsty. <laughs> Listen, dang, it's they too strong for me. If it was birthday, they don't what? They don't come and you throw go for no. Oh. <laughs> 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 Man. Now they're two. Not word. Oh, that was good though. It's not bad. Now, watch you knew still got it for the one. Yeah, I think I would have been able to finish that one. This is top two and it's number two. <laughs> See, we didn't even taste ten yet. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Let them do the light. I'm good. Let's just I, pour a little more. Not pour. Not Viv trying to get drunk. Bro, we we said we was gonna do that, but we didn't. Yeah, we said. Okay. Well, I guess we could get on the topic of creating boundaries. Um. So, what are some boundaries you've created in your young adult life that you didn't have before? Great question. Mm -hmm. How about we send that off to you while I think of some? <laughs> um, um, so I'm not going off front. I wouldn't say I was a yes man, but yes man in the sense of like, I couldn't say no to people though. So I was a people's pleaser, right? So I used to people please a lot. You know, I used to overtake a lot of things that I knew like, not like I knew I couldn't handle. I could handle, but like my time would be managed so poorly to the point where like I'm exerting so much energy to the point where, like, after I'm done, I'm drained. Like, me and Z went to college together, so she would see me with a bonnet. I'd be looking like a zombie. Like, it was so bad. I used to juggle so much at once from doing hair, then makeup, then being president, then um, well, president of a suba, captain of my dance team while juggling school, and also just being in a relationship, you I know, used, too. I, like, that I was used, a lot. I used to feel so bad for you. Like, seeing... It's the fact that she was the president of the club. We're having homecoming. And she was in her dorm doing people's makeup. makeup. And didn't end up going to parties. Oh, or showing up like when it's about to be Damn. over. That's a oh, How are you? Are you? Are you? Bro, like, don't, don't, be, don't be sad. You I can be sad. Like, no, I really, like, you really was doing it all. And like for some people, you know, not to even appreciate the, fa That's the fact bad. that you were doing all of that not really applies it on top of all of that you're still a college student that's a fact with the hard major that's you know what fact, i mean bro. so like and if nobody told you i appreciated you back then oh, and i still you. do oh, friend. thank you of course now nah, yeah i used to juggle so much like even now because you know I'm, I'm soft life ceo right like anything that stress me it has to go. So like looking that back, part. I'm like, yo, like I was doing Z's here like the other day. How was I doing this? Like five people back to back, like right after classes. Like I, me now could honestly never. And I commend my old self for just be able to like, just have that strength. At that point, like it wasn't even me. Like that was all God because I don't know how I was able to do that on top of like doing schoolwork, on top of, you know, having practices, like dance practice until like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. It was so bad, y'all. Like, I used to be just a people's pleaser. Like, you know, I couldn't say no to people. Like, oh, somebody asked me to do their hair and makeup. It's like, okay. And, you know, at that time, too, you know, I'm struggling. Like, I'm pretty much taking care of myself in school. So I had to, like, really, like, yeah, like, dang, I need this bread, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I need I need, I need, need to find a way to get this money by tomorrow, you huh? know? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I need a lot to get this money back tomorrow. Now, really, I used to, I used to do it all, mm -hmm. but now I've really learned like I can't be everybody's superwoman. Like in some people's stories, I'm gonna have to be the villain, and if me being the villain is saying no for my betterment, mm -hmm. then by all means, call me a super villain because listen, I come first, and I just, I never used to put myself first at all. Right. So, what about you? Um, I, I feel like with before in the past i wasn't a good communicator and Ooh. i feel like yeah terrible communicating because i feel like in the past i'll try to communicate how i'm feeling mm -hmm. to people and it'll be it'll come off as you're arguing with them you know mm -hmm. what i mean so like i just if somebody does something wrong to me i just brush it off okay because i'm not about to argue with you and like sometimes i would even have to like put it in the front like hey this is not an argument right i just want to talk to you about this 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 and that right mm -hmm. so then um I feel like the boundary that I've set now is if somebody is doing something that I don't like, right. I make sure to address it with that person because like we're grown. Right. And if you can't have a conversation without arguing, we can't have conversations anymore. You know what yeah. I mean? So I feel like that's my main one. And I feel like I learned it from, you know, my heart. Like what's up? He really taught me, you know, how to communicate more mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So I feel like, 
did you ever have like a breaking point where it was just like nah i need to stop doing this because this is like kind of like stressing me out in the long run of me not communicating yeah i feel like yeah like because it's like I don't, it was like, I never used to vent at all. I just used to hold everything mm -hmm. up. Like, you know, not talk to nobody about nothing. And when I started like talking mm -hmm. and seeing how much, how relieved I felt, Bro, I was like, I, was yes, like, I, I can't stop talking no more. <laughs> like, I'm going to talk to the end. I'm screaming. So yeah, like, I feel like that was it. Like, it just overwhelming. You know, you never know what it is. Then when you start talking, you realize, oh, it's because I bottled this up for so long and never spoke about it. And Yeah. It's, that's a really, like, it's a really, I don't know if it's, if, if the word I'm trying to look for is toxic, but it's really bad to, like, not communicate, not that's communicating in a relationship, in a friendship, anything. It's terrible to not communicate because if you're not communicating with me, how am I going to know what I did upset you? That's very true. Like, we're not 16, 14 no what more. What are you, 12? Like, <laughs> like, you don't even go here. But, <laughs> <laughs> like bro we're not you know we're not children anymore and i feel like at this age if you feel like okay i'm not gonna you know communicate when this person upset me mm -hmm. you shouldn't speak to them no more and like i don't know mm -hmm. communicate communication is key that's it and i'm glad i learned that as because, cliche as that sound it really yeah, is true though yeah i'm so glad i learned that you say i learned it late but i'm glad i did you saying that actually reminds me of that too like because i used to i'm like non-confrontational like i hate uh, I guess bringing up confrontation or just like being approached with confrontation like because mm -hmm. again like the me being the people pleaser it's like oh my gosh how could me like how could I offend you like mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like problems because like I'm not used to having problems so when people used to like you know come up to me and be like yo like I didn't like what you did or like say like there's something that like happened like a situation that happened to me or a friend or something like I would literally like avoid it and it's not on purpose, but also, too, I just believe that if you're angry about something, I feel like you shouldn't speak about it right then and there. Definitely. I feel like you should, like, wait it out and, like, let your let yourself steam, like, steam it off. Mm -hmm. Really, like, like think it. Because, mm -hmm. like, I hold on to words, like, tightly, y'all. Like, words mean everything because I feel like everything you say is premeditated. Thank like, you whatever you thought, it has to go through your brain first for it to come up through your mouth. Mm -hmm. Unless you got Tourette's, you know? But nobody that I know has to rest at least i know that it's not diagnosed but yeah like so i just feel like whatever you say if you said that mean that and own that you know mm -hmm. so it's like if you got something mean to say and you say that like at that point like there's no going back from that never at all no i don't want to hear i was drunk i was upset I, I no yeah, that's care. when the truth comes out that's and that's exactly what you meant exactly so like i just feel like said. out of respect like i feel like you should just wait it out i feel like everybody should do that mm -hmm. to be honest like no matter how well or how good you think you are approaching uh, situations or combating situations at that moment but, you just never know what situation mm -hmm. would arise and how you respond to it right you know? i have a question then right. but what what about the don't what what if it's with a partner and like you're not meant to go to sleep upset at that partner so how how does that work i mean there was times where i would then go to sleep yeah but like, well, you know it's not good so like it's how, like how they, well that? like no it's like they be like oh don't go to sleep upset at someone mm -hmm. you know what i mean so like if you're if we both upset at that time is it like wait a couple hours before we go to sleep or well, it's okay like just go to bed um i think it depends i feel like maybe it depends on the situation like i feel like if the situation is really that deep like literally let it simmer down just but i feel like communicate like hey like you know right now i'm really upset at you and i want to say certain things but i want to think it over before we discuss like mm. can we discuss about wow. it later on you know that's, I, a, that's a very mature response bro, i feel i feel like it should be that way though because it's like it's not everything that you're going to be willing and wanting to talk about at that moment and sometimes time don't even allot you to have that conversation right then and there you know because you know, we always say, like, oh, yeah, like, it's, it's going to be a short conversation. Mm -hmm. And then it, like, goes on for hours. Right. Even about the littlest things. So I just feel hours like... Hours and hours. <laughs> and hours, please. <laughs> no, but seriously, so I just... I just feel like... See, what is bro? I think everything is a joke, bro. Heavy on everything is a joke. But, yeah, I just feel like if it's really that deep, and you really need to think it through and you want to talk about talk about it i feel like we should just wait until everything kind of simmers down but it's still relevant enough but back then i used to wait like a week or two weeks until like i'm personally ready to talk about it and just because i'm ready to talk about it doesn't mean that they want to talk about it anymore, anymore. Mm -hmm. you know you so seriously so like i had to learn like okay yes you can 
hold it off and, you know, let yourself, you know, recuperate and regroup with yourself to, like, you know, analyze the situation. But make sure that it's still relevant. Exactly. And let that person know, like, hey, like, it's not like I'm avoiding you to talk about it, but I personally just want to get my thoughts together. Exactly. And then, I feel like it should be that way. Yeah, because sometimes it, seem, it seems like you're bringing up old stuff. Like, why don't you let the past stay in the past? Right. But it's like, at that point, I didn't want to talk. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> no, seriously. And I feel like, but I, I, that's where, like, low-key kind of like compromise come in. Depending on the situation, like, sometimes you might have to compromise like, letting it wait. Mm -hmm. And then also, too, that person might have to compromise them wanting to talk about it right then and there, you right. know? Because, again, it's like, I don't want to say nothing mean to you. So, with that being said, leave me alone before I violate you. Like, seriously. Like, because you don't know how badly the situation ticked off somebody. And at that moment, it's like, I don't want to be in your presence right now. Leave me alone, you know? Right. Why are you trying to talk about it when I'm not ready to talk about it? If you want to talk, I'll curse you out, you know? <laughs> and I don't, I don't like From getting From the person ugly. that said that she's not confrontational. I know it's not even... No, I know. I would never curse somebody out unless it's really that bad. Mm -hmm. But I don't ever want it to get it to that point. Point and either. that's so crazy. I've never seen you like argue or like laugh on someone, bro. Or curse someone out. I'm just not that kind of bro. I'm not that kind of person. Have you seen me do that? I'm trying to think. Have you seen me curse somebody? Bro, I feel like I've seen you got heated once. Was it during a meeting? A Was meeting? Bro, <laughs> no. I feel like. You got feisty one time though. I remember it was bro it was something. We used to be on the same Uber too. So like for like a suba, which is our African student union. I forgot what it was, but I seen you get heated though, but not on some like yeah, boo boo boo. No, boo, yeah, boo. no, well, I was no. never like yeah. No, 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 no. No, never. yeah. Never. I don't know. I'm like also not confrontational either. Like I don't like arguing with people because what's the point of us arguing? Like even um in the past when mm -hmm. like I'll be, somebody like you know be arguing with me, I'll just be keeping quiet. I'll just be quiet <laughs> like, because because okay. if we're, like, I'm not arguing with you now, you're talking to yourself. Because what's the point of me? talking back for you to just be yelling now we're both yelling, yelling at each other exactly. and someone earlier today told me too she was having an argument with somebody but mm -hmm. she just kept quiet because it's like now you look dumb <laughs> you're arguing with yourself and like eventually the person is gonna shut up That's because they're not true. getting a response but if you keep going they keep going we're just going up and nobody's gonna stop that's very true so that's something to learn too that's very true that's something really important to learn just if somebody's arguing and you feel like there's no point, exit the conversation. I'm telling you. You don't and have that, to have every conversation. And, and that's what's all like soft life is about, like learning how to choose your battles and stuff. Mm -hmm. I've always just been on some like no reaction is a reaction type of person because I'm just not confrontational. And I just don't like people seeing like that they got the best in me mm -hmm. because it's like, it wasn't really worth me getting out of character for your bum ass like bro like it was literally no point i didn't get my point across like you're a bum bro, bro i'm telling you like no seriously like it's like okay yeah i'll feel good at that moment like yeah i did this but then it simmers away and it's like at that point it's like okay what did i earn from that did i get money did i did i did i i don't know did i get brownie points no i didn't get anything from it so there's no point in me engaging in that just for them to be like oh yeah i got her tight because at that point once you give them a reaction it's like oh yeah i know how to push our buttons now mm -hmm. i don't need nobody trying to analyze me or know what what irritates me or not like if you're a nobody and you're not in my life you don't need to know anything about me especially what what pisses me off you know right right yeah. at that point you you give them that power like because a hit dog will holler so if the, if the person hits you and you holler and clearly that got you mad and they're gonna know like, okay yeah i know how to push your buttons now and at that point they will go harder and below and below and below the belt nah it's not worth it Definitely. at all especially for random people you know it's so funny because literally today on tiktok right i posted some like fitness content tips or whatever i was saying <laughs> Was it yesterday? Oh, what's today? I think it was yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday. It's my bad. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Okay. Over here clocking it. But <laughs> yesterday, right? I was dead on the phone with her too. Like, so like somebody had got me tight, tight on TikTok and like pretty much was just saying like, you know, oh, whatever tips you're giving is not good. Like you probably don't have a life or responsibilities. I'm like, wow, you're really mad that I'm getting money from home? Okay. Um, but yeah, like, oh, you probably spent three hours in the gym, uh, spending that much time taking a break because I was saying like, you should wait at least three to five minutes or two to five minutes, depending on what workouts you're doing or like depending on the reasonable. intensity. I feel like that's reasonable because a lot of people be doing junk volume, like doing 10 exercises within one session. Like you're not supposed to do that. Like that's how you fatigue your muscles. But that's another conversation for another day. But yeah. So then he was just trying to like make assumptions of me. Like, yeah, you must have no responsibilities. You probably spend three hours in the gym. You probably don't have any endurance. Like that's bad for endurance. And I'm like, who said I was going to the gym for endurance? 
I want to go to the gym because I want to be strong. <laughs> bro, bro, it never gave. And at that point, it got me so mad because it's like, bro, like, don't try to discredit me because clearly this thing worked for me. It may not work for everybody and everybody's different in the gym. Everybody has their own different goals. Right. But I'm specifically talking for people that wanted, wanted to go to gym for hypertrophy or like building muscle. Like, yeah. that's optimal. Because even too, like, you're not supposed to be doing that many exercises within one session anyways so why are you exactly but whatever and i was going back and forth with him and then i had to realize and go vivian why are you even going back and forth with him you don't so, even know bro, him I don't even, bro he doesn't even go here bro so at that point i'm just like i'm deleting this entire thread because why am i going back and forth with him like at this point, it's like he triggered me and he's seen that I got triggered. Follow her on TikTok though, y'all. Bro, I please, please. 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 <laughs> Bro, I post something real cringy on TikTok. Do not no follow. Follow, no, follow her. No, follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow me. Maybe if a couple of people tell me to join, maybe I'll join. I but... told you I'm the couple of people. <laughs> I'm I need maturity, y'all, so I don't have a TikTok. Bye, yet. bro. Bye, girl. Cause she be definitely feeding to get my phone. Let me see yeah, TikTok. Like, let me let me see TikTok. TikTok. Let me use your phone and record a TikTok real quick. <laughs> Nonsense behavior. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, like, it's just learning that soft life is, like, literally not letting anybody get to you or get the best of you. Um, creating healthy boundaries for yourself in general and just, like, um, I don't know, like, just indulging in things that include leisure and not work. Because I did want to touch on this topic, and I, I love the fact that black girls especially, and again, like, it's not to like single out black girls, but you I'm a black you girl, y'all. You know, you seriously, don't know what literally, it is. Yeah. I can only speak in my experience. But I do believe, like, even while I was in college, like I said, I was doing so many things. Like, I was like CEO of participating in functioning depression. And like, I don't know if you guys know what functioning depression is, but it's like pretty much you work your way out of depression. And when you're not working, that's when everything kind of hits you. And I feel like that was just kind of like my escape in a sense because, bless you. Thank you. I feel like I didn't really have a sense of identity or what, really knowing what I wanted to do in a sense. Mm -hmm. So anytime that I would be like by myself or the time that I did get to be by myself, it's like, damn, like, what do you want to do with yourself, Viv? And like that but by itself is very depressing. And I feel like a lot of black women especially go through functioning depression, to be very honest, because it's just like, as black girls, I feel like we don't ever get a break. Like, at all. Like, there's no such thing as having a break when being a black girl. Like, we always have to sit down there and be in our P's and Q's. Lace has to always be laid. Um, hair has to always be hair. And lashes always gotta be lashing. Any wrong thing about body you... Body gotta be body. Bro, I'm telling you, any wrong thing about you, people will literally annihilate you. They would, like, crucify you for the littlest things. And it's like, bro, everybody gets to be their selves but us and it's like that sucks like why do we have to sit down there and like pretty much like on top of following so societal norms and like kind of feeling like the outlier in society but also to just not having like a sense of just being you or enjoying life like every everybody gets to not everybody but everybody has their own situations and i'm not going to sit down there and compare between races but as black girls like we never get to enjoy anything like we get like the the crumbs of everything to be honest but nevertheless we, we're we're the ones that are the trends everybody's following what we're doing but when we do what we do it's an issue yeah yeah so i just feel like it's like it's so dope to see like us transition from the independent black woman like oh i got this for myself to soft life where it's like yo to be getting to exactly like going to where you're celebrated going to where you're appreciated just going to where you're loved but also loving yourself and i feel like that's so like super dope like i feel like us especially our generation you know gen z slash millennials we're kind of like pretty much breaking the generational curses that our parents once had especially coming from like you know single parent um homes or like single mother homes you know so i think it's just really dope that we're transitioning into that and just Choosing a life of leisure. Because why are we on this rock play paying bills? It doesn't make sense. It never gets. We're on a floating rock paying bills. How sway? Like, that makes no sense to me at yeah. all. And you know what's also interesting? Like, in the beginning of the year, Viv and I, we spoke about, like, things we wanted to change. Remember? Oh, facts. Like, we, did, we wanted bro. to change, like, a lot of things about ourselves. Like, you said how when you turned 24, you felt like, you felt different. It was and like a click. When I turned 24, same thing happened. Like, I went ghost on social media for a while. Like, I was just doing things on my own, like, without anything. Like, I was just like, 
different like i felt a whole shift like i used to be the one who would post everything like <laughs> every single thing bro, at a like, concert bro she would post the whole concert the whole concert <laughs> literally the whole concert but like i feel like z would literally post that the whole was concert. i don't know like why am i doing that like you know it, once i turned the um 24 you it was like your privacy yeah now, i'm like i don't want to post private now yes like I feel like I've always been private though, but no, you, like with your life. But yeah. in regards of like regular posting, miscellaneous yeah. stuff, you like now it. even when I be posting, I be panicking. But don't tell no. She always posting it close friends. She barely posts on her regular story. Y'all. Literally, barely ever post. I don't know why. It's just I don't know. I've just got maybe hopefully eventually maybe I'll get out of it. But no, I like but it. I feel like you don't have to get out of yeah, it. Yeah, so I like that's, it. If that's your change, that's your change. I feel like also too in regards to soft life topic, right? I feel like things that shifted with me, y'all. So I'm on the short nail wave. I thought y'all. you was gonna call. I, I saw you got like this. I knew it was coming. Um, it's giving. Um, but yeah, I'm on the short nail wave, y'all. Like before, I used to love my nails long, really long. Z didn't mature yet. She didn't graduate yet. So I can explain. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can actually explain. Explain, explain. So like, I got my nails done short and I told you, I really like them. Right. In the past, if I was to get short nails, I'm like, I like, I don't like this. <laughs> and like, I would get short nails for a week mm-hmm. until I go back to my nail tech and then I'll get like, you know, my all blinged out. Right. And then I realized like, when I got my short nails and then I finally got my long nails, I was like, I think long nails actually make, like, this is my... What is it? Not my personality, but this is like who I am kind of in a way. I don't know. Like this is just something I've been doing for so long Mm -hmm. and I don't know. It's like when when people see me, that's the first thing they see. Oh my god. Oh like I love your nails. And it just became it just became like a a part of me, right? So when I got the short nails, I'm like, yeah, of course I'll go short nails, long nails, short nails. Like I'll do like different sets that. But now that I know I actually like short nails, mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind doing it whatever. I feel you. But I like, I don't know, it's something about long nails. Because my, my my real nails are really short. Right. So like, I don't, if I wanted short nails, I could have just kept I my... I that for you. Yeah. Well, Z is a mumudo. She don't really do hair or stuff like that. Well, who is kind of crazy? Like, <laughs> I'm like, no, but bro, nah. Honestly, like, I feel like with me, I kind of had to tra- transition to like, the long nails granted i was doing hair with long nails but it was just so difficult like it's like my nails always get in the way when they grow out it's like extra long now so i can't braid as much as i wanted to or like it was just things would get snagged like i just feel like even to when it grows out it's noticeable that it grows out i feel like i had these nails on for about like three weeks now Mm -hmm. and like it still looks as if like i just got them freshly done Mm -hmm. and i feel like that's what short nails do like i just like the ease of short nails as well as short lashes too y'all i may be going private on the short lash wave i'm not that mature yet either (laughs) (laughs) no because i feel like with nails like i'm mature enough to you know go ahead and get short nails once in a while but the lashes i feel like i'm not there yet but you have big eyes though so it's different yeah and also i just feel like i started getting lashes my lashes actually done maybe right. three four years ago mm-hmm. so i feel like it it, it needs some time <laughs> nails i've been doing it for five plus years now so like it's like all right i'm, I'm here for a switch you know it's like yeah. it's been some time now let me just yeah but the lashes over. i'm not there yet maybe eventually but it fits it, it fits you and mm-hmm. like not saying that long lashes don't fit me either but at certain times i just hate when sometimes like say for example like i'm wearing like a bust down middle part right like my hair is heavy because you know we, we don't rock thin weave over here y'all so period the hair being your face you got long lashes now the lashes look like this <laughs> bro i'm lying no bro it literally like this bro and at this point it's like imagine you going out you taking pictures like you're looking crazy bro and just like nah like i don't like that i feel like the short lashes really bring out like my natural beauty it's just it just gives like not saying that long la- long lashes don't give but I don't know, like the right short lashes. First of all, my lashes, lashes is giving that, and she told me. No. But bro, your eyes are big. Like that's your like. I have pretty much besides my head being big, everything else in my face is small. Like I have small features. Like my eyes are small. Small my, life. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Small lashes, small nose. I have small eyes, small nose, small small lips, even small ears. My ears are very tiny. So it's just like I just feel like I kind of have to. Bro, my ears are mad tiny, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> my ears are really tiny. I don't know if you have to see that, but yeah, everything else is pretty small on me, and I just feel like sometimes, like, depending on the lashes, like, 
it really kind of like swallow my face sometimes depending on how i put them on like some days i have good days other days i don't have, I don't have that much of a good day with lashes so i just feel like short lashes is just again it just gives me that ease it gives me that effortless type look and also too i like my lashes short but still full and like y'all need to get into stacking your lashes i'll be getting two different lash styles and stack them together um to give it that you know that full, you yeah, that's that's exactly what i did oh, wow. girl you can see it, bro exactly these were thin af yo like i'm not even going front but once i stack them it gives me like that nice full look but it's still short and feminine you know and i just feel like it just gives you more why are you copying me <laughs> Why are you coming? <laughs> I like to see I talk with my hands, so <laughs> see get out, bro. <laughs> but yeah, like short lashes just be giving. Not you looking at my lashes. <laughs> of the trajectory of the of the drink. <laughs> nah, but um yeah, soft life is just where it's at and I'm just super proud of us of just like making the shift. Like we are really making the change. Like the black girls is fine. It's clicking, Steven. It's clicking as it should. Like I just feel like we're we're picking things that are like for us, by us and like I, I love it. Like, I stand for yeah. it. And, like, to be honest, the men are quaking. They are shaking in their boots. They are, bro, I'm telling you, like... Oh, jibby, jibby, jibby. <laughs> bro, like, not to bring men up because, you know, like, literally this week, I was like, no, we're not going to talk, talk about the men thing today. But, no, seriously, like, a lot of these men, like, they're getting checked. And as they should. Because, bro, like, we're not choosing nonsense this time. Whatever nonsense our aunties our mothers or our sisters took we're not taking that anymore and as we should to be very honest like we're putting we're literally lighting fire underneath their asses as we should because we deserve a lot because we do a lot for the community and to be honest if we're not together and we're not you know defending each other then who will that part. you know and I feel like if you haven't gotten into the soft life, I think you should use this as a sign. No, no, to like, no, really. To definitely cut off them toxic people. Change. Look at yourself and think about what do you want to change. Not necessarily like I don't like this about myself. Mm -hmm. I want to like what are some new things you want to try? You know the, what I yeah, mean? Bro. Explore everything. Like explore everything. If you don't like your job, quit your job. That part. Quit no, your job. Listen. There's do so, not overstay your welcome. There's please. so many like opportunities out there. Whether it's another job, tech. Uh, the tech world is going crazy. Literally, right now. multiple streams of, of income. Now we sounding like for us. <laughs> Bro, where are the Forex people? They literally went ghost, bro. No, for real. Bro, I don't hear nothing about Forex, Forex, Forex. That's interesting. These guys. <laughs> I don't like those guys. <laughs> I don't like those guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so I definitely think, like, definitely engage in the soft life. Don't feel like anybody's dusty. That part. Broke down. Boogie down. Oh, little easy. sun. Could talk bro, to you please, anyhow. Please know your not. worth at the know end of the day. Know your worth. Know, your worth. know your worth. Because if you gotta ask, he's not your that, he's not your man. Mm, he's and not I'm your nigga. He's not your nigga. And you are not the father. <laughs> <laughs> not her running off. Z come back. <laughs> please don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> bro, Z, please. Bro, it's 11 o'clock at night and we're making noise. I know my neighbor is 
vexed right now, bro. He came but I don't give a damn. <laughs> he can't breathe. But I'm not gonna I'm really sorry to feel it now. What? Yeah. Yeah, your eyes are glossy as fuck, bro. <laughs> Yo, yeah. oh, the, not the sweet bitch getting bro, us. The sweet bitch is really bitching, bro. Not the bitch. The bitch. <laughs> okay. Wow. Ooh, I oh, can't breathe. Oh, wow. Now, nah, yeah, I'm starting to feel it. <sighs> Oh, damn, damn. Okay, this, chug this one. This, this wig is getting hot. All right, chug, chug this one. <laughs> chug this last one, bro. Chug it, bro. I barely even drink, bro. How am I chugging this and I barely drink? <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me catch my checks. Bro. Flex on my ex. What? There we go. Respect. There we go. I don't even know the lyrics. You can your head, Jack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, y'all. Yeah. Whoa, 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 that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this video has really shifted, bro. We was not acting like this like 20 minutes ago. No, not at all. <laughs> Send help. Y'all, we don't drink like that, so <laughs> don't think this is fake. This is real tins. This is reality TV. Real tins. <laughs> real tins are gone. Big you get me, are yeah? gone. You get me, yeah? Yeah. Big, big tins are gone. You get me, yeah? <laughs> I, I'm hot, bro. Nah, she's squeaking because, bro, she really bought Patron for us to drink with wine. Can you even mix that, bro? You can, bro. Who said you can't? Zia, you wanted to come and kill me in my own house. It. I didn't think about it. You didn't pray. You, you wanted to. Chill. <laughs> you didn't pray. You didn't buy. <laughs> bro, nah. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't yo, please, y'all don't judge. <laughs> And I'll be like, oh my god, I didn't even invite y'all to drink. Ah! What's wrong with me? <laughs> y'all, if y'all haven't got your cups yet, we already a little lit right now. If y'all haven't got your cups yet, go ahead and join us. Take like three go shots ahead. to catch up with us. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> gobble, gobble is crazy. Gobble me, swallow me, drip that aside of it. Up like this. <laughs> bro, I'm the police, bro. Have some decorum. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Bro, not decorum. Bro, I learned that from TikTok. I'm like, wow, I never heard that word. Such a zesty word. <laughs> Honestly. Bro, okay. No zest and much Bro, how do we get off the topic, bro? <laughs> Anyways, I feel like that was low-key it for. Yeah. Let's, let's check this one. <laughs> ah! I'm supposed to be creating TikToks after this. <laughs> Bro, hold on. Cheers, y'all. Anyways, hey, I love crazy. Fucking tea. Period. Period. Soft life or no life? No life. Gay gay. Gay gay. Gay gay. Please. You wanna bum bum. You wanna chill, chill with, with the big, big boys? Now you don't have to get the red cat to get away and drink when you jump cup. this video we got a little too loose somebody's on front we're gonna get loose again next week <laughs> even, even no, looser no, no, no. We, 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 we brought the patron but we we, we gonna bring that in for next week we're not mixing no shit bro it's either we're taking shots probably gonna do truth truth or shots some, some shit oh that's fine mm -hmm. Ooh, that's fine let us know if y'all want to see truth or shots that or part. give us any other ideas y'all want to yes, see yes y'all so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like oh, comment yeah, and subscribe also, wine suggestions Thank yes wine suggestions but also too let's start the let's start the discussion down below comment down um what are you doing to indulge in the soft i know i got like stuff on my 
my chin, but that's besides the point. Do I? No, no you good, girl. Oh, okay. You okay, good, okay, bro. Okay. You good. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. I got you, gang. <laughs> Your gang could never. <laughs> oh, also, if you feel like in the comments, like if you feel like you were already based off of the stuff we said, if you feel like you're already indulging in it, but you never called it the soft life, let us know what you like the shifts you've seen within yourself. Yes, every, yeah. everybody's soft life is different, everybody, so yeah. don't try to copycat anybody. Yeah. Like not necessarily copycat, but you know, you could sit down there and curate. So curate is meaning literally taking somebody's life and then making it your own and let it fit and suit you. So again, soft life is different for everybody. It's certain things that you may need to work on that another person needs, like probably is already like Gucci in that department. So just remember, every soft life is different. But let me know what you guys do in regards of like indulging in your soft life. What are some boundaries you created for yourself that you've never created before, didn't have before, or what you have unlearned about yourself while being a young adult or even a teenager. Because I know like my young girls are trying to catch up and as you should. The girls. The girls, the young <laughs> girls is trying to is trying to catch up and as y'all should. And I'm super proud of anybody that's taking initiative to change their life for the better. So yeah, let's start the discussion. I want to talk to y'all. I want to interact with y'all. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next segment. Do soon.